basic animation in CreateJS, the HTML practice file, produced by Lon Hosford. This video examines the base HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in the practice files for this series on creating animation using CreateJS. If you are familiar with creating a basic web page with an HTML5 canvas element, CSS, and basic JavaScript, feel free to skip ahead to the next video in this series. This is the finished HTML file for this lesson displayed as a web page. At this point, there is a JavaScript alert dialog shown when the body is loaded. The page contains an empty HTML canvas element styled and positioned with CSS. This is the index.html file found in the completed folder. I will just point out what HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is here so you're comfortable with the example we are using in the upcoming videos. This is the canvas element that CreateJS will use. This ID named stage-canvas is how CreateJS will map to the canvas. The width and height are set and will become the display boundaries for CreateJS. Here we have all the CSS for the document. The body element selector resets default margin and padding properties for uniformity across web browsers. And gray is set for background color to make the canvas stand out. The canvas element selector creates a border and a background color so we can see it when empty. The margin and display property settings allow the canvas to center in its parent element. And lastly, we reset the left and right padding defaults for web browser uniformity. Now let's look at the JavaScript. When the body element on load event occurs, we call the init function. Once the init function is called, we can use CreateJS to begin drawing and animating on the canvas element. For now, there is only one line in the init function, which displays the JavaScript alert dialog. When the alert appears, we know the JavaScript is working. Now you are ready for the installation and bootstrapping of CreateJS. Thank you for watching.